Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos, yo soy amigo Bill y estamos en otro capítulo más de Genshin Impact y el día de hoy vamos a tener pues nuestra reacción al streaming de la nueva versión 4.2 empieza en 10 segundos y vamos para allá, venga 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 vamos para allá Though it appears that you've managed to win over part mm, of the Polina. crowd, some of your testimony doesn't add up. You can be rest assured that I, Farina, the God of Justice, no sé will get to the Pizza, bottom bro. of this matter. So no detail shall escape me. Que era Pizza? Yes. Oh, la misma que hace la voz. A God must be firm. A God must not allow any detail to slip through the cracks. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just as the will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? It's so hard to predict how people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, uh, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Nervilet! <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. Uh, is there something that you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Maron okay. in advance. Venga. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, the Hydro Archive to be punished by a... the death sentence. A la verga, la van a juzgar, weu. You and I both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? What's done is done. Just trust in me, your Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Lo que me gusta es que se suben el slime y da giro. Está padrísimo ese ataque. Le hacen bullying al los muñequitos. Carlos. Boom. Sí. Este es el mismo. No más le ponen la espalda. I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. What? The water, I mean. What? The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. ¿Y ahora qué le pasó a mi novia? I, Farina, will you Vale, sé que vamos a matar para para sacar las cosas de Farina. Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. What is the meaning you would call this? You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be. No more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? Fusil. Why did you deceive us? A blood and rejoice. We're just a woman. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. The floor will now begin. This trial is... I now understand the true purpose behind this position. You are the devious one, Fusalor. Vale, Tartaglia transformado. What should I do? The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Vale, no, what? ¡Hala, Virgo! ¡Qué rico, loco! 
I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. A la verga, todo se fue a la verga. Listo, Valgamer. I hope Dice. you've enjoyed the part you es played this Sí, ya sé que es Gil, pero. Cristo Valgamer. Dice. Vale. Como o. Oh. Cristo Valgamer. Dice. Todo se fue a la Burger XD. Literal, ¿no? Black Mirdox. Dice. Va 97 KJNF 24 V. Vale, el primer código cambiado. Listo, chicos. Primer código. Pues no me pareció tan malo el primer acto. Pero tampoco es que haya ido más de la olla. Sobre todo no, me sorprende lo de, lo de Skirval. Dice. Envíamelo al Discord. Voy. Hey, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.2 special program. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to bring you the latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey everyone, I'm Amber Lee Connors, the voice of Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. And as the story continues, how will this special god avert the crisis foretold in the prophecy? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm at the edge of my seat. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nivellet, the Dragon Sovereign of Water and Udex of Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. Yes, for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. In the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> Actually, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems pretty packed, so let's take a look at the first item. Oh! Looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Ooh, interesting. I know, I know. I'm, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, mm -hmm. it looks like there's some spotlights and like, is like a, a curtain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Seems like, you know, maybe okay, also... Okay, ya me lo dijiste eso. ¿Qué más me vas a decir? From, from yeah. behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff and always <laughs> just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, in version okay. 4.2, travelers get to experience the, act of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Travelers will gradually unveil new facts behind this crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. I know. I know. Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spoopy. Um, right. So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we faced in our journey through Tevat. Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Nivellet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis was averted by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. 
Though we probably can't dismiss the assistance provided Ooh, by cuidado. the maid either. Whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely cuidado wants to save Fantine from eh? the prophecy. But there's only so much that we can say. <laughs> Travelers will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. Yes, exactly. So be sure to play through, uncover hidden truths, and witness <laughs> this epic chapter of Fontaine's history for yourself when Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. Sounds good. So yep. Right? <laughs> hey, question. Mm. Have mm. we forgotten a pretty important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mean child. Yeah. 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 Child. Uh, we searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> yep. I I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> Not ideal, Uchamar. but it's fine. Mm, it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But we saw Child appear at the end of the last version's Archon Quest, so it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. Mm -hmm. But we really need to talk about Farina. She's what? confronted Why? with a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine will have the traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, oh, well, just like the prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. <laughs> but knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some preparations. Mm, huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> no way. Come on, guys. Have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. Dale, lo que me Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? Mm. Uh, you must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all. Vale, ya parece con el short negro, pero igual le aparece con blanco cuando Marina. la cambian de, de color. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. Oh my gosh, I love her mm. outfit. Yes. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing. you'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, you know what? It seems as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, let's take a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Somebody goes a real. Strike a pose. Let the world come alive. Me gusta esa parte donde salen corriendo los muñequitos. Está genial. Whoa, that is wow. so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of like bows. Es lo mejor de la personaje o de la yes. animación. Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone mm. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the phantom or aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus. And they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Oh my gosh. No, the octopus is even wearing a hat. What a distinguished little gentleman. Um, a uh, correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a oh? bit different from Phantom or Aberrants, uh, okay. I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, oh. They even help manage her daily affairs. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Oh. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> yes. So, you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta, 
<laughs> They're the best. The crab. The one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, oh, there mm-hmm. he is. Mm-hmm. And the conferencier, Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for propriety. Oh, okay, okay. So when Farina said to make an appointment with what? Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, this is who I she was referring to? Too. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. I didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. Farina even makes him spew bubbles in her idol animation. Oh, oh my animation. gosh. That's adorable. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, you got it. Yay. So, Farina is a hydro sword user. Okay. Como que se están tomando mucho tiempo en explicar la Farina. She usually defaults to Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire, Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, Salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. <laughs> okay, I was listening to all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm-hmm. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. Oh. It's super cool. Uh, after Farina uses her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh, nice. Yes. Hmm. The summon vale, created by cura, no? Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after quieto. Farina is switched out. Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> That's my trumpet. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. (laughs) That healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And um, due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamer aberrants. Wow, you can say that again. Yeah, (laughs) and that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, Whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches <laughs> to the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good eye. You're correct. You. It does change. <laughs> but, you know, such is the charm of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about Farina, oh, yeah, man. Ah. be sure to accompany oh, yeah, no, no, her no, no, on cuando... her story quest, vale, the un... Animula Kuraji chapter. Ah, amazing! Okay, so next up we have another old friend to introduce. She's now able to join the traveler's party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right! It's Charlotte! Yay! Oh, <laughs> Ooh, so cute! We've known Charlotte for a while now. The traveler met her during the Summoner Summit event, which took them on an adventure all over to that. Yes, that's mm-hmm. right. Charlotte's hard-hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really leave an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Rithesley? Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? Mm. But I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents and the truths they contain. Ooh. 
Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verité just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for photography is truly a marvel. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. The peerless Monsieur Verité turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's so cool. And Monsieur Verité is so cute, even as his own little hat and tie. <laughs> I know. Charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verité's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, that Aww. is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verité. Yes, it really does. Okay, okay. let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. do it. If you keep your eyes peeled and your Not mind Italian. engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Oh, y se agacha para tomar foto y todo. Qué guapo. Say cheese. Breaking news. Vale, se la tengo cargado. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she okay. is really like moving around. Yes. Honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect of a reporter for the Steambird. Even her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, that and then, sense. like, what a lively character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's <laughs> always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verité, she captures enemies from all angles, unleashing attacks while discovering and exposing <laughs> their weaknesses. Yes. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. Same. The more you know, I guess. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's duration, no, 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 no. marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental no, 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 no. skill strengthens these effects and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm -hmm. Now her elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously no, 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 no. restores HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verité, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. Now that is not all, there is more. <laughs> During the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte oh. activates the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called oh, buenas, First es lo que no Person no como era. Shutter. Oh my gosh, when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget pero will cause you to enter quest, full pero no sabemos qué quest. Imagino que de ella. That is so cool. Yep. That is super rad. And you know, I have a feeling some super cool pictures are going to come Cristo out. Oh yeah. We are going to provide sí, more information about the zoom lens okay, okay, during the event overview portion. So, Farina and Charlotte will both be featured in version 4.2 of vale, Event Wishes. In the first half of version 4.2, we'll have Event Wishes showcasing Farina no, and Baiju. During this time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. A big wish. Huge boost. <laughs> <laughs> a new five-star sword, Splendor of Tranquil Waters, vale, will be featured in the Weapon Event Banner. And... Huge sword. <laughs> <laughs> and in the second half of version 4.2, we'll have reruns for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Okay, let's see what other information we can learn from the itinerary. Hmm, it looks like she's investigating something. Ooh. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says, <laughs> strange rumblings no, have been heard in the depths of Fontaine's water. El dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's here already? Oh, Look at wow. that. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> it looks like 
like it's in a sea of pink and blue stars. That's so pretty. Oh, I remember this whale. Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's vision at the end mm -hmm. of the version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, <gasps> it's the same one. After ravaging its way through the primordial sea, this otherworldly creature has at long last Bye. broken the seal Dice. and descended upon the sea. Mano, vamos it's, a morir. it's a real big, big. It, uh, it feels like it might even burst straight through the screen. Oh, I hope not. Uh, I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent to <laughs> <that we can> just <laughs> brute force our way through, you know? Mm -mm. Exactly. In the first phase, it will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AoE attacks from all directions. Dodging is definitely your friend with this one. Oh, boy. Um, okay, okay, okay. So there also seems to be sort of a progress bar Kitai. next to the boss's HP Dice. bar. Mm. Dios What's that demasiado for? Hermoso. Okay, since we can't outfight it, we'll have to outsmart it instead. The creature just freed itself from captivity and is grimming with anger. Pela, so if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh, okay, wait, is, is somebody being eaten? Is uh -oh. it... Is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> I guess here it is. <laughs> this is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here with a massive sword. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, these summoned creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal is with all of this. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy with this space de las the de la, the mar de las estrellas. Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah. All truths will be revealed in version 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh, man, this boss looks really, really tough. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, this update actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty of the boss if travelers are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully, this provides a smoother gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. Oh, I love that. Now, now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance the main story. <laughs> hey, um, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Chicos, código en pantalla. NT. P2 KP EJM UH Black Beardox dice NTQP2 Pejmu Código canjeado venga Listo el código, chicos. Ah, se lo voy a enviar que estaba. Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay! So, we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Mm, I certainly didn't. <laughs> well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Farina and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh, yeah. It looks like Farina is in Erinneas Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the Opera House. What a cool place. Mm -hmm. Although, it 
does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> definitely. Wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Urania. As you can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the middle of the lake. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take a look at this, the foggy forest path. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. And what about <laughs> this area, the weeping willow of the lake? Ooh, it looks all withered and spooky. And the water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Like it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Marina also realized something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh-oh. Oh, Speaking of, there are always new things to discover beneath Fontaine's waters. In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. In addition, with the help of a special device, travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solving certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. Okay. We'll leave that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. I'll give you a hint. Melazines are involved. What? Melazines? Really? Melazines. Oh, then it would certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There, a singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. Demon. Actually, it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary, so let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Ooh. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Mm. It seems like there's a very important and very ancient story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always <laughs> unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places where destinies intersect. <gasps> Oh, wow. destinies! Destinies! In certain underwater caves, a new life form is waking up. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And some places still seem to tell the story oh, of so no matter how long they've been abandoned. So in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure quest line that was introduced in the lugar? last two versions. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? <laughs> A surprise? <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. Same. <laughs> All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map, but Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Oh, wait. It looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aww. Hmm, Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. What? Speaking of, let's move on to the event portion. Woo -woo. All right, the Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted a commission to investigate the rumors of water imps near Arius Island. Little, little, little. Ooh, another investigation. <laughs> For me Oh, and Fremene seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. But it doesn't look like Pear. Actually, its name is Thelxy. The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, 
Children who play by the water are food for Thelxi to devour. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, children must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? It does seem a little unusual for Fremenate to La get this little penguin normal. a name like that. There must be a, some other reason. Wait. Hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenay make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. Oh, I Pretty love that. Cool. As our journey progresses, we'll collect Dice. colorful shells, corals, sí and other items which can be used to outfit tranquilo. our little friend with weapons and equipment. Hmm. Which brings us to the second stage of the event, using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what what happens if we run into Cristobal certain speed bumps on our adventure? Dice. You know, like Estaba monsters, una guía XD. and yeah, all that okay. jazz. Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly. In the third stage of the event, the clockwork penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Of course, the clockwork penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Whoa. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Let's see. After helping the penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Aww. Cool. Hania, a friend we met in Sumeru, has arrived in Fontaine ah, no, to no, promote no. Lil Fungi's fantastic no, fiesta. No, no, no. Oh, Fungus. and speaking of fun... De hecho, ya nos había dicho que iba a volver el evento, pero no sé cómo lo I recognize some familiar Yay, faces. Me... <gasps> Yay, Fungo me head, me it's time to shine! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we Itai. led the little fungi Dice. in battle against Mechanicae. Yeah, this time, we'll have favorito. the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the powerful skills. Yeah! <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with the fungi more than ever. Here's hoping. We, uh, actually, I have a little note here to pass along from our developer friends. It's the note I'm unfolding. <laughs> While they hope to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're gonna continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Yeah, thank yeah, you. thanks. All right. Okay, let's take vale, a look segundo, at what uno, else Marina's no? itinerary has in store. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial Technology Experiment Log. I'm more than ready to fight some adversaries. Let me at them! Este es el del, <laughs> el de I wish I lente. could, but it doesn't actually involve este fighting. Este es el dibujito de la lente, el de, de Charlo. A researcher obsessed with Graph Adversarial Technology has made great contributions to the study of counter-criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success, but her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> Colleen's request analysis. is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. Sí, you might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. That's right! It's the zoom lens we mentioned during Charlotte's character introduction. Oh, how fun! To use it, just equip the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. Whoa. You can even use it in domains. Ooh. Double whoa. 
Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet travelers will be able to capture some amazing moments in co-op mode too. Mm -hmm. And even if you miss the chance yeah, to see the event, ahí, there's toda, no need to worry. Que... Travelers will still be able to obtain the Zoom lens after al... the event ends. Alfaredi, nosotros ahí es partiendo de la madre del mundo. It seems like Farina has also learned of the existence of a domain shroud. Este también ya vuelve el evento. Es la tercera vez este evento, bro. Master the leyline features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now less experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry about it. These trial characters and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the leyline are also great ways to come out on top. That's right. And travelers who are more confident in their combat skills can choose to jump straight to the final challenge. <laughs> also, the Leyline Overflow event will return at the end of version 4.2. Now might be the perfect time to start building your party. Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. But there are still more surprises to share. Yay! Whoa, I let's know. get into them. Well, before we get into them, let's do a quick break to have a look at the final redemption code for today. See you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> MT96KJNE2LVM. Black Beardox. Dice. 9T96KJNE2LVM Listo, código cambiado. Cristobal Gamer dice el código. Welcome back, travelers. Ah. Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Aww, Aww. I know. So we've submitted our extra, appointment extra, request extra. to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Let's vale, get into mejoras. it. Okay. So first up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring ah, vale, para que have to unlock certain weekly la bosses. Eh. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally. True. In version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. All weekly bosses vale, will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, now vale, we don't have genial. to wait to advance the story, but we'll come up with new characters, talents, and map, Exactly. Also, we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation TCG. Ooh. In version 4.2, three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Accelerate Duel feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from other travelers. That's oh, cool. That's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> Double. And in addition, both yeah, the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots dos. unlocked at each bien. player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Double again. Double, yeah. double. Double again. The, devel <laughs> <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated battle mode and the Forge Realm's temper, Endless Swarm, will also return in version 4.2. Ooh. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. Plus, a new story key privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests ah, and bueno, hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. 
Ah, para nosotros no es eso. Red no. notification dots have also been optimized. Ya me había, ya me había alegrado y dije, no manches, me van a dar un... No longer reappear when cosas. logging in on a different platform. Yo. Quest optimizations will also be available in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. Travelers ah, will now get to choose jugar. whether to accept a story quest oh, after sí. unlocking it. Whoa, nice! And hopefully, no travelers won't be overwhelmed by some otra. influx of quests anymore. Y ahora, si, por ejemplo, si the update has also made notification about no prerequisite importa. quests ya even clearer, making it misión. easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come to a close. Oh, I cheer. know. <laughs> well, there's so much exciting stuff happening. And um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I am personally very jazzed for the Fun Guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They are keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love the idea of the combat camera. Um, but uh, uh, for me and Monsieur Novelletta, uh, we are here for the melusines. <laughs> Uh, well, this has been so much fun with both of you. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. Um, but that's <laughs> it for the version 4.2 special program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. 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 Ocho de noviembre. Ocho de noviembre. O sea que sí la van a trazar. No, no. No entendí eso último. Ocho de noviembre. ¿A cuánto estamos hoy, cabrón? Ah, bueno, es hasta el miércoles. Vale, vale, vale. Es miércoles. Sí, sí. Dice. No, no, no la trazan. No. No, se quedó igual. Venga, pues nada chicos, por aquí me despido, nos vemos más anoche para que, bueno, me dé tiempo de subir las cosas y obviamente también vayamos a hacer unos videitos que me faltan por ahí, me ha parecido bastante información interesante, sobre todo informar sobre las lámparas, sobre el, obviamente la, donde va a salir este Freminen, donde va a salir la lamparilla esta para que no la pierdan y este también pues lo de Skirk y entre otras cositas vale que van a venir por ahí. Así que yo soy Vir, me despido y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Bye. No se los olvide, chicos, por cierto, lo del sorteo. Venga, antes de que me vaya, chicos, la imagen, por favor, del sorteo. Aquí, aquí, aquí. ¿Dónde está la imagen del sorteo? Déjame ver. Esta. Chicos, chicos, no se los olvide el sorteo, ¿eh? Suscríbanse, suscríbanse y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Bye, bye.